So in this segment, we're going to be talking about the Taoiseach Michal Martin saying British government doesn't understand the Good Friday Agreement. And to be fair, he's he's right, and we'll explain why in a moment. The Taoiseach claimed the government does not, the British government does not fully get the Good Friday Agreement, following its plans to override the protocol. Speaking in the Dale, Mr. Martin said, "We want to say fundamentally, and it is with regret I say this." I do get the sense the British government don't fully get the Good Friday Agreement. We know that Dominic Raab hasn't read it fully. I don't think Liz Truss has either. They don't, or they don't understand the DNA of the Good Friday Agreement, what it really means in terms of the involvement and the co-guarantor nature of it between the British and Irish government. But also the wider interest of the from the European Union and the United States of America and parallel that with what we're witnessing, a denial of democracy, where people are voted in Northern Ireland for the convening of an assembly and the formation of an executive. It is not acceptable that the assembly has not been convened, so it's blatantly a shot at the DUP there. So the publication of the bill and the reaction uh, to it from within the British government is profoundly damaging. So if we look at where the evidence is, is you've got a senior um, MP here, this clown, um, you know, a senior MP in the Northern Ireland office has withdrawn his call for the government to cut ties with the European Convention on Human Rights after it's pointed out that the Good Friday uh, peace deal requires the UK's participation in the ECHR. Jonathan Gullis, the Parliamentary Private Secretary to Brandon Lewis, the Treasurer, the Secretary of State for Northern Ireland, said the UK needs to free itself from the ECHR entirely in a Facebook post. He wrote, it's clear the ECHR prevented the flight from depart, um, departing, talking about the Rwanda stuff, um, the attempted deportations. Gullis has then edited the final sentence of his post, however, it now reads, the ECHR's role in the UK law needs um, looking at urgently. Now, if we look at, you know, I was going to Google use this for something else, but if you look at the word trade, right, the Good Friday Agreement mentions the word trade once. So it mentions the word trade once, it mentions trade union. If you look at the phrase ECHR, it mentions the ECHR, the British government will complete the incorporation into Northern Ireland law of the European um, Convention on Human Rights, um, and the European Convention of Human Rights created the European Court of Human Rights, um, which is the thing that we keep, um, we are currently butting heads with at the moment. So yeah, it's kind of ridiculous that the government makes this um, argument. So the uh, affirming that the high contacting parties, blah, 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 have the primary responsibility to secure the rights of the freedom of this convention and the protocol thereto. And in doing so, they enjoy a margin of appreciation subject to the supervisory jurisdiction of the European Court of Human Rights established by this convention. So the European Convention of Human Rights created the European Court of Human Rights. The European Convention on Human Rights or such as the courts, however you want to phrase it, is enshrined within the Good Friday Agreement. So for this gentleman here to argue that we should leave the ECHR tells you everything you need to know about the Tories right now. They do not understand the Good Friday Agreement. Because on the one hand, for the government to argue we are upholding the Good Friday Agreement by um, you know, breaching the Northern Ireland Protocol, but on the other hand, say we are going to breach the, we need to get rid of the uh, European Court of Human Rights because it's stopping our deportations to Rwanda shows you they don't understand the Good Friday Agreement. So I think, and I'm not, I don't think I'm wrong here, Michal Martin is actually right here by saying the government don't actually understand the Good Friday Agreement because it's clear that the ECHR is mentioned seven times within the Good Friday Agreement when this thing decides to work and the word trade is mentioned once and that is in the context of trade union. So for them to argue, you know, the, the Northern Ireland Protocol and the Good Friday Agreement are things that they are not, just doesn't make sense. Especially when you see here, the European Court of Human Rights was created by this convention, which is the European Convention on Human Rights. So um, it's just, uh, it's just honestly, shocking, but it's not in it. These guys are a bunch of clowns. But um, anyways, I'm going to leave it there. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, comment, share, subscribe, support the channel on Patreon if you can. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.